How's it going, everyone? Welcome to Spurverts Part 2, the show where we talk about everything that's got us absolutely excited to be Spurs fans. I'm still with Reese. Reese, Fiorentina game. It yeah. is coming up, Europa yeah. League. We got them away in Florence. How do you feel about it? Um, I feel quite positive about it, yeah? actually. Yeah, I mean, we were quite. I thought we were unlucky last year to get knocked out by them, and we're a much better team this Two year. 2-0? Um, unlucky? Oh, well, you know, Fiorentina, though. I just think I think we can easily do it. We can easily do it. It'll be interesting to see what team he puts out. That's what I'm. That's what I'm yeah, sort of nervous that about is and apprehensive. The... But he took Harry Kane off against City at the end and put Chadley on, knowing, oh, maybe we could rest him for a bit because he has been. He's going to play him. He is going to play him, but he might. Maybe he'll take him off after sort of sixty. Yeah. Because I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind him not playing. How do you feel generally about the Europa League at this stage in the season, knowing that we're second, we're still in the FA Cup? Is the Europa League a priority now that Champions League? It's not certainty, but it looks likely. Is the Europa now a priority? It's still a European trophy, though. Like, it's a huge trophy to win. It'd be a huge trophy to win. And if we beat Fiorentina, I don't see why we can't. If we win go it. all the way in Europa and we go all the way in the FA Cup, you're looking at potentially 27 games. I know, and given that Leicester have got what? 13, 12, 12, 12 left. Games. 12 left, yeah. Then it's... Do you really want to? Do you want to? Do you want to take that, that risk? Yeah, I know. Travelling but... to parts of Europe that no one goes. Look, put it this Easy way. EasyJet doesn't even fly to some of these places. I, th I think I think you've got to, it does be on the quarter final. Uh, I think that you have got to go for it in every competition and if we get if we get knocked out, we get knocked out and I won't be like I won't so be When absolutely... you say go for it, play our strongest possible teams. No, but just like try. We've got to try. Yeah, yeah. We've one got thing to try. That, one thing that concerns me is the centre back situation. We're playing this many games yeah. with no subs and uh, is Cameron Carter Vickers named in the, the squad at I all? I don't so? think so. You know, I don't think he's in Poch's plans at this point in time. So he's going to obviously put, have to drop Dyer back and all that. If and he keeps gets delaying injured. the Vertonghen talk. He's not telling us yeah, when he's, he's going to come back, know, which makes so which is worrying me because initially they were saying what about four weeks maybe? Yeah, sort of six. How long? Eight weeks. It's, got, it's looking longer than that, to be honest, because they keep just delaying it. Oh, we don't know. We need updates. Blah, blah, blah. And Jan's tweeting a lot more now as if that's going to make up for it. Yeah, it's not. All right, let's talk about the Palace game from one cup, cup competition to another. Well, there's one I don't, I don't mind going out of. I mean, I, I, what, again, I'd love us to get the win. I would love us to get the win and keep and stay in the competition yeah. right, and, and go all the way. I'd love us to obviously win all of these competitions. But it's Palace, Adebayor, isn't there a grudge there? What, 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 do you want to lose that I personal battle? I won't be devastated if we get knocked out. I won't, I won't be happy, yeah. I'll be disappointed, but I'll get over it quicker than if we lost to Arsenal in the derby. The thing is, if it was, you know, like a Norwich or just someone we don't care about, maybe, well, one, it's a London derby. It's still a London oh, derby. Yeah, but Two, we, we beat them twice. They're looking for revenge. Yeah, then Adebayor's well, there. Oh, it, I just, it, it, it would be Spursy for Adebayor to score the winner against us in at five minutes of out of time and we've only meant to have four. Yeah. That would be very Spursy, okay? We all know that. But Spursy is long dead, okay? Spursy stuff is happening far and far less this year. It's true. Maybe Adebayo won't even play. So you're saying that you're not really bothered about the FA Cup? Oh and yeah, you, and I would love and to win it. I would love to win it, okay? You I definitely can't... don't want to draw though? I don't, oh no, no, no way. No replays. No that for me would be wor much worse than being knocked out. A yeah? replay would be much worse Congested than being knocked out for me. Congested fixture period a and all that. Another fixture. Yeah, yeah, yeah we don't nightmare. need all We've that. got more, because we potentially could have more fixtures than Arsenal and City, and obviously way double Leicester. So another one would if be... If we go through, would you be happy though? Would it be yes, like yes, we're, yes, we're, yes. we're on I our way to Wembley? I would be happier to go through than not to, but I just won't be killing myself if we get knocked out. I won't be absolutely devastated. There'll be no tears if we get knocked out. I'll be sort of like... Fair enough. Jamie Redknapp, the good-looking chap that he is, has says, Poch is perfect for Chelsea or Manchester United. Uh, yeah, he's perfect for everyone, mate. He's the perfect manager. Well, what obviously. Stupid, pointless yeah, that, thing to say. Why, why is he saying that for? One minute he's on our side, the next minute he just... Well, what's he talking about? Oh, I don't know. He still wants revenge for his dad, doesn't he? Is he's you avenging, think that's what it is? He's avenging think he's the avenging? sacking of his father, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it's a classic Shakespeare story. Poch, though, let's talk about him as a manager. I mean... Anyone would be happy to take him at this point. Yeah, of course, of course. He is one of the top managers week. in the league right say now. Say every week on this channel, of course there's rumours that other clubs are interested. Why would you not be interested? He's proven it. He's proven it in the Premier League. Yeah. So why would you not want it? But why would he leave? But why, has why he proven he it even though he hasn't... I mean, is it too early to say because he hasn't actually won anything yet? No doubt he's done very well for us. We're mm -hmm. second. This is the highest we've ever been at this stage in the season. But it's, at the end of the day, you've got to win something or achieve something. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, know. is it too early to be saying it? Look, and there's always there's always talk, especially in the media at the moment, about the fact that Poch teams 
tend to tail off a bit towards the end of the season. Yeah. So time will tell. But I, I mean, it's hard to deny he's been an absolutely sensational man. He's been the best manager we've yes. had potentially in my lifetime. Better than Harry Redknapp. Yeah. Absolutely better. I, absolutely better than Harry Redknapp. Harry Redknapp got us fourth twice. We're second. We're two points off the top. Can we win the title? We can, Don't yeah. answer that, don't answer we that. Can. Anyway guys, this has been Swerverts Part 2. Let us know in the comments below what you think about what we discussed. Fiorentina, what do you think the result will be? Crystal Palace, you agree with Reese? Do you not want to replay? Will you be angry if we go out? Let us know in the comments below. Is Jamie Redknapp a twat? Probably. Uh, subscribe to the channel <laughs> if you're new. Uh, drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it and keep it casual. This is our usual Monday edition of Five Things We Learned. And of course it is five things we learned from the Manchester City game at the Etihad Stadium. 